Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 6, Homework. Number 1, find the total volume of the figures and record your solution strategy. So I am going to start by labeling each of the rectangular prisms. So I'm going to divide these into two different rectangular prisms. I'm going to call this one A, and I'll call this one B. Now let's start by finding the volume of A. So remember, volume is equal to length times width times height. So I'm going to start with the length. So I know the length is 13. The width is, let's see. Well, I know the width here is 2 inches. So that means that the width here is also 2 inches. So, but length times width. And then the height is right here. It says 2 inches. So 13 times 2 is 26, and 26 times 2 would be 52 inches cubed. Then for B, uh, length time, I know the length is 5, the width is 2, oops, I put L instead of 5. So 5 times 2 times the height, this is where we have to do some investigating. So we know the entire height is 4. We know this height is 2, so we need to do 4 minus 2 to figure out this height. So that height is 2 inches. So 5 times 2 times 2, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is, so that's 20 inches cubed. So if we add those together, 52 plus 20, that's equal to 72 inches cubed. And then our solution strategy, we can say we found the height. Let's see. So really what we had to do was find, we found the height. of B by, let's see, by subtracting 4 from, or 2 from 4, and then we added volume of A plus volume of B. All right, and draw a little line there. So for B, again, I'm going to label them A, and then I'm going to label that one B. So let's find the volume of A first. So the length is 18, the width is 3, and the height is 2. So let's do 18 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So we have 54 times 2 would be 108. And we're talking centimeters cubed. So then B, the length is 21. The width is 7 and the height is 9. So we need to do 21 times 7 times 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. Carry the 4. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4 is 13. So we get 1,323 centimeters cubed. And then we just need to add them together. So 1,323 plus 108 gives us 1,431 centimeters cubed. So our solution strategy, strategy would be uh, we found, we didn't have to do any investigating like we did on the last one, so I'll say we found the volume of A and added it 
to the volume of B. All right, C. C, it looks like we have three different rectangular prisms. So we're gonna have to add three, find three volumes and add them all together. So let's call that A, B, C. So the volume of A, let's see, we have length of six, a width of, we can go, so they all have the same width. So we can go all the way down here and find that the volume, the width is three. So three is gonna be the width on all of them. So six times three times the height is right here, it says four. So we have six times three times four. Six times three is 18. 18 times four is 72. So that's 72 millimeters cubed. B, the length is, let's see. So we know that this is five, and from the previous one, we know that this, the length of this part right here, is right there, it's six. So we can add five plus six and get 11. Or you could also look down here and see that this is eight, and this part is three, so you could add eight plus three, which is also 11. So either way you look at it, the length is 11, the width is three, remember the width's the same for all of them, and the height is four. So 11 times three is 33, 33 times four is 132 millimeters cubed. And then C, The length of C is three, the width is three, and the height is five. So three times three is nine, nine times five is 45 millimeters cubed. So now we just need to add those together. So let's do 132 plus 72. 204 plus 45. 249 millimeters cubed. So our solution strategy would be find volume of A plus B plus C. So, and then let's describe that length of B was equal to five millimeters plus six millimeters. And the last one, D. So here we only have two rectangular prisms, so that's good news. So we have A and B. So let's find A first. So A, the length is 12. The width is right here, it's four, and the height is nine. So 12 times four is 48. Let's do 48 times nine. Nine times eight is 72. Nine times four is 36. 36 plus seven is 43. So that's 432 meters cubed, and then B would be the length is 10, the width is two, and the height, we don't know, but we do know that the whole height of the entire thing is 11, and the height of A is nine, so we can figure out the height of B by doing 11 minus nine is two, so the height is two. And 10 times two is 20, times two is 40 meters cubed. If we add 432 plus 40, we get 
we get 472 meters cubed. So our solution strategy, we could say um, add volume of A plus B, and then let's see, length, or what was it, height of B was equal to 11 meters minus 9 meters. Number two, the figure below is made of two sizes of rectangular prisms. One type of prism measures 3 inches by 6 inches by 14 inches. The other type measures, the other type measures 15 inches by 5 inches by 10 inches. What is the total volume of this figure? So we have one, that's three by six by 14. And we have another one that's 15 by five by 10. Now, we need to figure out which one is which because we have two of one type of figure, which means we need, let's start by finding the volumes and then we'll work on that. So 3 times 6 is 18. 18 times 14. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. Put our 0 down. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. So we add those together. 7 plus 8 is 15. So this is equal to 252 inches cubed. The next one I'm going to do 15 times 10 first and just get 150 times 5. That's equal to 750 inches cubed. So I, by looking at this, one is 750 inches cubed, the other is 252 inches cubed. Now the one, the rectangular prism here in the middle looks much larger than the two on the other side. So I believe that the one in the middle is 750 and the two on the sides are 252. So I need 252 times two, or I could just add 252 plus 252. I'm gonna multiply. So we get 504 plus 750. I get 1,254 inches cubed. And that would be the total vol volume of all three of those rectangular prisms. Number three, the combined volume of two identical cubes is 250 cubic centimeters. What is the measure of one cube's edge? So two identical cubes is 250 cubic centimeters, meaning that they are each, if we divide that in two and figure out what the volume of just one is, so it's 125 cubic centimeters for one prism, or one cube. So we need to think what times what times what could equal 125. And you also, the key word here is cube. So a cube means that all sides are equal. In other words, these all three need to be the same number. So we could start with like one times one times one, well that's one. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, um, and just keep going. But I know that 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, so each cube's edge is 5 centimeters. Number 4, a fish tank has a base area of 45 centimeters cubed. So that's saying that 
the bottom of the fish tank, this part right here, the base area, is 45 centimeters squared. And it's filled with water to a depth of 12 centimeters. And it's filled 12 centimeters high. If the height of the tank is 25 centimeters, so the entire height here is 25 centimeters, how much more water will be needed to fill the tank to the brim? So we want to know how much is left before it's totally filled, that part right there. So to figure that out, we're going to do 25 minus 12 to figure how much is left. So there's 13 centimeters left. And to figure out the area or the volume of that, we're going to multiply it by the base area, which was 45 times the height that we're missing, 13. So let's do 45 times 13. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Put our 0 down. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 4 is 4. If we add it together, we get 585 centimeters cubed. Three rectangular prisms have a combined volume of 518 cubic feet. Prism A has one-third the volume of prism B, and prism B and C have equal volume. What is the volume of each prism? All right. So prism A has one-third the volume of B, and B and C have equal volume. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram here. So we have B and C are the same. And then prism A has one third the volume of prism B. So I'm going to take all of these, I'm going to take these and split them into thirds. So here's A, it's one third of the others. B and C, there's B. And there's C. So it's really broken into, you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. So I'm going to equally divide 518 into seven pieces. Seven goes into five, zero times, but seven can go into 51. Let's see, seven times six is 42. Seven times seven is 49. So it can go in seven times. 7 goes into 28 four times. No remainder, so each of these pieces is 74. So that means that the volume of A is 74 because it, it was just one third of the others. So 74 cubic feet. B would be 74 times three, three groups of them, or 222, and C is the same as B. And if you add all of those up, they will equal 518 cubic feet.